The globe is covered in 326 million trillion gallons of water. However, only 0.5% of it is useful. Many coastal communities rely on pumping wells as their daily source of fresh water. However, due to salt water intrusion, this source may become unusable. Due to this, many densely populated coastal communities have no stable supply of fresh water, even though they are surrounded by water. So how can high-quality fresh drinking water be produced through desalination? I am Paris Miguel Berber. I'm Kevin William Castro. And I'm Julian Earl Salas from Philippine Science High School main campus. And we are proud to introduce TIDES, Shock Electrodialysis Desalination Integrated Terminal. TIDES is a community facility built on the processes of shock electrodialysis. Multiple stack SEDs all constantly pump fresh water into a tank. They work overnight to ensure the tank is filled up sufficiently for use the next day. Modeled after a gas station situated at the center of the community. Through this system, people can take water without much weight. Shock electrodialysis or SED is a novel desalination process which has the capability to deionize 99.8% of salt fed through its input. Furthermore, 99% of viable bacteria can be eliminated through SED. Unlike existing technologies such as reverse osmosis, SED utilizes a much lower energy and implementation cost. SED is much more durable as its membranes only undergo passive usage, allowing for long and continuous operation. The power of consumption of SED is also greatly reduced with brackish water input. Such allows the widespread implementation of tides in coastal communities everywhere. Using the principle of ion concentration, polarization, and over-limiting conductance, an electric field is applied to a saline solution flowing through a porous medium sandwiched between two membranes. An ion gradient is formed through the shock waves allowing a physical splitter to produce brine and fresh water at the output. By stacking SED cells, we can further increase the fresh water yield with minimal energy increase. Of course, good solutions don't just stay in the lab, but extend readily to the people it was made for. There will be three different tanks to store three types of water, type 1, type 2, and brine. Type 1 can be used for drinking and cooking, and type 2 for taking a bath, washing dishes, and the light. Meanwhile, brine may be used for de-icing, preserving meat, and other industrial applications. This is to minimize costs and waste, all while maximizing efficiency. That is all. Thank you very much for listening.